Uh, roll call. Okay. Commissioner Salona? Here. Commissioner Colucci? Present. Commissioner Grace is absent. Commissioner Lozzi? Here. And Commissioner Pont is absent. Previous meeting? Uh, motion to uh, make motion to accept the uh, uh, November minutes. Second. All in favor? Aye. Project updates. The West Law Treatment Facility, I put your, uh, the uh, November uh, progress meeting in your, in your package. Uh, the major components of the uh, liquid oxygen duration mixtures and the grit and screening facilities, which is the head works, that's uh, significant money. We're working on the pump stations, Camden and Washington are the big ones. The smaller pump stations are getting work as, as indicated in the package. Uh, there's some commissioning training they're working on, change orders and allowances uh, within uh, contract budgets, uh, modifications to the uh, sludge dewatering building, and uh, air permit and concrete repairs are ongoing. I also put the last uh, invoice in your package. It's for two point, a little under 2.1 million for the month, which is a lot of work, obviously, but the contract is for 70 mil and they've completed uh, 30, uh, 35 million to date, uh, less retainage and some some small money allowances. So we paid about 32,000, 32 million. I wish it was 32,000, 32 million to date, but everything's going well. In another uh, another year and a half, two years, the plant will be, uh, will be uh, totally renovated and ready to go operate from uh, year 40 to 60. So it's a lot of money we're spending, but it was necessary and uh, things seem to be going well. We got a good contractor, so everything's good. Any questions for the commissioner? Water treatment plant, next one is uh, Rick Dawes here. Okay. Uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, the Water and Soil Commission is in compliance with all federal state drinking water regulations. <laughs> the water supply capacity as of yesterday was 71%. The average for this time of year is 65%. And I say the 71% is going to be going up pretty fast after the after good amount of rain we had. Like Sammy. Uh, so we should be looking pretty good as far as capacity goes. Uh, there's nine of ten contract full-time positions at the water treatment plant currently filled. There is an open operator, but as I mentioned last meeting, there is uh, one of the mechanics has obtained his grade two, and he just recently passed the Mass Waterworks class. He's waiting for his confirmation number from the class, and he plans to uh, take the grade three uh, operator's exam on, and uh, hopefully become our operator, the, the last operator that we need. And Veolia right now is already looking for a replacement mm -hmm. for Kim. And that's my report. Any questions for Rick? CSO update. That's going to be Anthony Marino. He's in attendance tonight. Anthony? Thank you. Can you stand up? <laughs> Where do you stand? No. Uh, um, so, PG Oso and Sun uh, has completed both phase one and phase two of the CSO work. Uh, we are currently waiting for the balancing change order from DEP, which is a form to execute the closeout of the contract. Phase three, which is uh, being constructed, which is our pump station being constructed from uh, by Methuen Construction, that work uh, continued on the electrical building. Uh, they completed installation of the electrical building ceiling grid, completed installation of rebar and placement of concrete for various for the various upper wet well area. Um, they've completed installation of the sheathing and the lower frame for the commercial street micro tunneling uh, receiving pit. So the tunneling subcontractor, who is a super excavator, uh, they have mobilized and they have begun. Uh, starting to work on the receiving and, and, and the jacking pit, and they did that on 11 uh, November 13th. That contract is approximately 75% completed. So that shortly they, uh, the tunneling will begin. Um, PG Osum Sun, uh, which is doing our phase four and five, um, that contract continues to be, uh, they continue to install sewer and drain lines on Summer Street and Oakville Street, and that contract is approximately 5% complete. That's the update on the CSO project. Any questions for Anthony? Yeah. I know we got a letter from the, who shared with us from the City Council about equipment and where it was placed. Was that rectified? 
Uh, yeah, well, the contractor, uh, we, we, we have um, <coughs> Bill Russo from the Water and Soil Commission, who's a full-time person out there, and uh, we have personnel from Stantec who's out there, and they're monitoring uh, to make sure that the contractors are compliance and keeping the roadways open and, and so forth. We've, we've had some difficulty uh, paying police officers out there, yeah. so that's been a, somewhat of an issue, but um, uh, we're, we're working through that and we're starting to get to see more of the police officers show up, so it's helping them uh, move traffic through the city uh, better than it was before. Got it. Thanks. There's certain areas, we met with Gioso and Stantec on two occasions. There's certainly areas we, we, we all need to do a better job. Uh, and we talked to them, I think we have, have improved. But Summer Street is getting a 30 inch drainage pipe about 25 feet deep. Kind of hard to keep all the equipment on. Correct. And at the same time, Oakville Street is getting a similar pipe. So we're working on Summer and Oakville, and they're both 30 inch pipe, like 20, 25 feet deep. So there's going to be disruption. There's yeah. going to be inconvenience. And moving forward, this work has to be done by October of 24. And it's a $43 million contract. We paid them about $2 million to date. So there's another $41 million worth of work. And new pipes and infrastructure, which is going to be exciting for the city. But when you do $40 million worth of work over 11 months, there are going to be some headaches. It's, it's just it's going to happen. But at the end of the day, they got new, newly paved roadways, new water lines, new hydrants, new valves, new, new uh, sanitary sewer, new, new storm system. You won't have to worry about utilities in the roadways for 50 years. But the next 11 months, there's going to be some, some hot, hot. Some hiccups. Yeah, there are. Because we're spending $40 million in 11 months. That's, you know, $4 million a month. It's, yeah. it's kind of insane. <laughs> but that's what the consent decree, that's what this board directed us to do in 2017. And that's what the consent decree has, so. And they're on pace with the completion date, right? Uh, I, I think so, but, you know, it, it's... It's probably going to be close. These, I think these two locations are the most difficult locations where the pipe is deep and large. Yeah. When they get to the little side streets, I, I imagine they're not going to in, in, encounter as many, many difficulties because he's putting a 12 inch pipe, you know, six feet deep. But these two locations are, are two of the worst, and unfortunately, they cause some disturbances, and hopefully, we rectify them. Any other questions? Kings Beach? All right, so Eric's here tonight. I think we I think we had three three different uh, documents in your package. One just a monthly update. One I think is a amendment that we need we need a vote on, right? And then the third one is just the scope of work that we're going to do for the seven hundred thousand dollars. And I'm just going to just give you an overview of that a little bit. So at the end of this TV and cleaning, we're going to have TV. Our entire 27 miles of storm drains that's tributed to tributary to Kings Beach. So if we find if there's if there's any readings to come back with enterococci, surfactants, and ammonia, we're going to sample it, sandbag sample, and we'll get to the home or we'll get to the the sanitary sewer main that's causing the problem, and we'll rectify the rectify that issue. But at the end of this, we're going to have TV'd every foot of our storm system that's getting to the beach. So. You know, I, I don't really know where Swampskit stands on their, the EPA sent them a nasty letter and how where they stand. But the end of this, I, I think we're going to be in pretty good shape. I don't really even know what more we could do. We're always going to have an IDD program through through the years. But up to the, as of this beach season, this 700000 is expected to be spent by, uh, by May Memorial Day. So I'm thinking at that point, we're going to have wrapped up our system pretty well. All right, so Eric and Anthony, why don't you guys take over? Yeah, so the program as it sits right now is we'll put out a technical document to the commission for purchasing to put out for procurement. So that will be for the 21 plus miles that have not been TV to date under the program. So we'll get bids back just after the new year. If we put it out the week of the 18th, it gives them two weeks to put their bids together. It's all unit price work, size of pipe, amount of cleaning, 
uh, some some allowances for police details and uh, root removal and things like that. Heavy cleaning, if they need to get back bigger tools, then we have an allowance in there for them. So they give us bid, bid pricing right after the new year. Um, we'd be looking to award the contract in January so that we could issue them notice to proceed for February, which would give them three and a half months to get to the completion date, which we're targeting right now, give them until the May 15th to be done with all the TV and inspection. And in parallel with that, as things are found, whether they're required dye testing, follow-up screening, or just dis disconnection, those would be happening in parallel with the program. So it's kind of going to be, it's not TV and clean and wait, it's everything's moving in parallel. So. Um, so the amendment that Dan mentioned is for our teams to be doing the oversight of the CCTV program and doing that field screening alongside it. Um, and then we'll keep that running. That gets us basically through the first six months of the year. But the goal is to complete all, all drainage in Kings Beach will have been cameraed and cleaned. And then we will be doing follow-up work because the cleaning hopefully finds some things, but also it's going to mask some of those potential connections. So we have to go back out and screen. Now that the debris is out of the pipe, we can see better whether there's anything. Um, we recently did that in some of the side streets of Eastern Ave. We had a sandbag because there was no flow coming from the separated drain, and after two days of having bags there, there was still no flow. So that is good in some sense because it means nothing's backing up. Um, we did take a few samples that we're still waiting on final data on, but we have a report due to the EPA and DP in January just to document the last six months. So the CCTV program will be mentioned in that, but it'll be reported on uh, in July of 24. But, so. um, what Dan mentioned about the contract is, so we'll Right now, the plan is to receive bids on January 5th, so we'd be looking for to make recommendation to award the week of the 8th so that we can issue notice to proceed for February. Do you think that's uh, sufficient time from February to May? We're February? estimating about 70 total days yeah. if it's a single. I think no, when they know the dates, whether a specific contractor wants to bring more resources to bear to get done quicker, or to have multiple crews working at the same time, we we kind of will allow for that. But they have, they would owe the commission and us a work plan and a schedule on how they're going to actually get it all done, um, and then it's just up to that. So some of these crew companies might have more more than enough resources; they can send multiple crews. Um, there will be some special special provisions for certain streets, similar to Eastern, where we'll try to do it at night, just so we can have the least amount of traffic interference. Um, also, that gets their production rates up because they don't have to right. deal with um, spree setups um, around traffic. But most of this will be daytime work um, on the smaller side streets, just like we've been doing for the last you know, six months. So I just want to add, yeah, the, it is definitely a tight schedule. Mm -hmm. It's accelerated. So there isn't a lot of time here between putting a contract out to bid and awarding one. So I, I don't know if we, maybe tonight <clears throat> the board could authorize us to once we get the the, um, the, the bid in, the, the, you can authorize us to, to, to execute it um, so we can keep this thing moving as fast as possible. Okay. But we definitely need to vote for the amendment number three for the 324,500 for, uh, for environmental partners. Right. Right. Okay, so I think we need a motion. I'm going to read the motion. <clears throat> No, no, that, let's hold up. This is a motion to uh, to approve the proposal amendment number three for general engineering services under uh, uh, environmental partners in the amount of three hundred twenty-four thousand five hundred dollars. Motion. Someone want to read that? No. Someone want to? Want to make a motion? Accept. Make a motion to. Um uh, accept the proposal for $324,500 from Environmental Partners for its CCTV work and oversight. I'll second. second. Roll call. Roll call. Okay. Uh, Commissioner Salona? Yes. Commissioner Colucci? Yes. Commissioner Grace is absent. Commissioner Losey? Yes. And Commissioner Trahant is absent. And again, as Anthony stated, just just because this, this is very time sensitive, we want to get this TV. We got to do 21 miles of TV in and cleaning until yeah. make. Either we're gonna 
it, it, depending on the timing of the bids coming in, we're either going to authorize a contract with the person to expedite it, or maybe you could make a vote vote now to authorize us to approve the contract, whatever you feel more comfortable with. But I don't think, like if they don't, it doesn't work till the January meeting, we gotta go to February, I think that would hurt us. Yeah. So my plan is to either to get a vote tonight or just have you, you gentlemen understand that that's what we're going to do. Either way, it's fine with me. Because we don't have a contract. We, I, I can't say it's going to National Water Main because we don't know the contract right now. We don't really know who the contract's going to be. What do you commissioners think? I think we should do it. I think we should uh, authorize the, them to make that decision. Mike? Okay, that's fine. Okay. Yes, okay. Okay. Yes, Paul, it's just a roll call. You need a roll call, call for that? Yeah, let's get a vote for that. Is it as a What? Okay. Yes, I, I think okay. so. Commissioner Salona? Yes. Commissioner Fucci? Yes. Commissioner Grace is absent. Commissioner Losey? Yes. And Commissioner Fahim is absent. <laughs> All right, the last item, uh, authorization to uh, approve a general revenue bonds 2024 Series A. I'll just give you a little bit of history. In, in uh, July of 21, we, we borrowed $7 million in bands, bond anticipation notes, to, to pay for some of the uh, engineering services with Stantec for the CSO work. That does not come out of the SRF program, that comes out of cash. So we, we borrowed some money to try to help help get us through some of those. With equipment and meters and the CSO design work, we needed a little money. So we went to the bond market for bands. Uh, we, we spent about 3.1 million of that money on, on some of that work. And we ultimately returned, say, $4 million of that money. Uh, and we put this out to bid. The, the closing documents in the general revenue bond package are, are in your package. Uh, Huntington Public Capital Corporation is the purchaser of the $3.165 million in general revenue bonds. Uh, it will be paying it back over 13 years. The payment is 175000 in year 25, and it goes to uh, 325000 in year uh, 2037. So we'll, we'll, I'm looking for a motion to approve the general revenue bonds for 2024 Series A. If you have any questions, Ryan couldn't be here tonight, so that's just my overview. Uh, interest, I think, uh, interest on this point, any idea? Five, a uh, little over five. I think we need a motion on yeah, this I'm going to do the motion. Okay. General revenue bonds 2024 Series A voted that the 28th supplemental resolution under the commission general bond resolution adopted May 31st, 1985, as amended, is hereby adopted <coughs> in substantially the form presented to this meeting with such additions, deletions, and other changes thereto, not inconsistent therewith as may be approved by the chairman, the executive director, or the treasurer in accordance with such resolutions prior to the delivery of any of the general revenue bonds 2024 series. Series A, referred to therein such additions, deletions, and other changes thereto to be reflected in the official copy of such resolution on file in the records of the commission, together with a certificate of such approving officer attesting to his approval of all such additions, deletions, and changes, provided that any material change shall be approved by the commission. Can we, one more time? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I can't even pause on this thing. <laughs> Is it a motion? Yes, it's a motion. Yeah, it's a motion. A second. <laughs> All ready? Roll call, yep. Okay. Commissioner Salona? Yes. Commissioner Clucci? Yes. Commissioner Grace is absent. Commissioner Losey? Yes. And Commissioner Fahim is absent. Any new business? Sorry, no. Yep, that's okay. second. Motion to adjourn. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Aye.